welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle so for today's video or rather tonight's video I am coming to you with my nightly skincare routine now if you've been with me for a minute you may know that I have struggled with acne in the past my skin and I, we've been through it. But in saying that, this routine that I'm going to be showing you guys is something that I have been doing for pretty much over a year at this point. And I feel like my skin and I, we're at a good point in our relationship. So with that being said, I did want to kind of go through and show you what has been working for me throughout this whole process. But in saying that, I want you guys to keep that in mind that what might work for me may not necessarily work for you. I feel like when it comes to skincare routines, it's all about kind of going through this trial and error process to figure out what your skin likes. I also just wanted to say that I do naturally have an oily skin type, but I feel like the products that I have been using have really helped me to kind of keep the oils at bay so they don't take over my face. So with that being said, I feel like my skincare routine is pretty solid, kind of simple. There are a few extras thrown in there that I will, of course, be showing you guys. But with that being said, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's just get into it. All right, so first things first, as you can see, I do have a full face of makeup on. I mean, it's not like a full heavy face, but this is just like my typical everyday type of makeup it was a very hot day today though so you already know that my face is like oily and sweaty and all that good stuff so typically i do this a little bit different like i'm going to be doing this obviously in front of the mirror just to show you guys the process but half of my skincare routine i kind of do in the shower which you guys will see in a second so First things first, obviously get the hair out of the face. And I like to go in with an oil cleanser to begin with. Now this is the pre-cleanse balm from Devilogica. I've been using this stuff for years. I kind of was using it for a long time, then kind of went off it. And then I started using it again and my skin improved dramatically. So double cleansing, if you guys have ever heard of it, double cleansing is really important. I feel like using an oil-based cleanser, like an oil, pre-cleanse balm type of thing like this, I feel like is a lot better than going in with say makeup wipes because those target the skin and I just feel like the story that I was told with this is that like oil attracts oil so when you're applying that to your skin it is kind of in some way you know helping to pull oil, correct me if I'm wrong but that's what I was told so yeah what I like to do with this is I just take like a little, little bit bigger than a pea sized amount and usually this whole portion of removing my makeup will be done in the shower just because it kind of gets a little bit messy. You guys will see in a sec. But yeah, usually I do this part in the shower. So it's a lot easier for me to just, you know, take my time with it and also to wash it off as well. And I'm just going to go to town. So you guys are going to see my makeup disappear. And it's so easy. And that's the great thing about it as well. It'll take any lip product off, like... Liquid lipstick, lipstick, it comes off. I'm gonna get those brows off too. Which I do have like setting gel in my brow hairs. It comes right off, like there's no tugging. It's just nice. And I feel like in the process, I can kind of give myself, you know, like a little bit of a massage. I do go underneath my eyes. Get a little bit gentle with it as well. But yeah, as you can see, my face is completely oiled. So at this point, usually I'd be in the shower and I'd like kind of let the steam do its thing and then also like wash it off in the shower. But I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that over the sink right now. All right, so my makeup is off, but not completely. That was just the first step. I also just wanted to say with the pre-cleanse balm, I feel like when I stopped using it compared to when I started using it again, I definitely noticed a big difference in my skin. I feel like my skin was a lot more like nourished and hydrated, even though this is purely just to kind of help break up makeup and take it off. I really felt like it just completely changed the look and feel of my skin. So yeah, definitely recommend an oil cleanser. Now, after that's done, typically at this point, I've come out of the shower and I'm ready to actually begin with cleansing my face and going through my whole skincare routine. So for that, I do use another Dermalogica product. This is their special cleansing gel. I've been using this for 
like nearly 10 years at this point, it has definitely been a staple within my skincare routine. So this is pretty much just their all around cleanser. Now with this stuff, a little goes a long way. I just take a little tiny pea sized amount. The bottle lasts me for like a couple months. Like I get a good amount of uses out of this large bottle but for this i do use it in conjunction with an exfoliating brush even though actually i should just call this like a cleansing brush it's not particularly for exfoliating even though there are different head attachments that come with this the one that i have on it is particularly just for cleansing so it's safe to use every day i feel like just using my hands alone doesn't really cut it for me i really like to make sure that i am getting in and cleaning my skin so with that being said if you're interested in this i do have a discount code this one is from duval i'll leave the details of that on the screen and also down in the description box but moving on, basically what I do, as I said, is take a little pea-sized amount of this to the head of the brush, obviously wet the head of the brush first. I also gotta make sure that my face is a little bit damp as well. And then I'll just go in and essentially like cleanse my face with it. It does spin, so it just does its own thing and I'm just like chilling while I'm letting it like clean my face. The thing I love about this also is like I said, it just does all the work for me. Like I just have to, kind of just let it do its thing and I love how I can really get in like around my nose I feel like that is where I possibly can like get the most congestion and build up in there of oil so I feel like using this just gets in there and I don't have to worry about anything being like stuck around that area and yeah it's just nice and gentle gentle enough to use on the daily and it leaves my skin feeling really nice and soft and smooth and yeah i just love using this it's definitely a part of my nightly skincare routine so i just go around for like a minute or two also underneath my jaw and down my neck because i do apply makeup under there as well i also try and get as close like to my hairline as i can but i will be going in with something else to make sure that I get all of the makeup out of there as well. I feel like if we're not washing our hair every single day, which I obviously don't, but you know, it's very easy for makeup to build up around here and then we can potentially have breakouts. So that's why it's really important to make sure that you are not only removing makeup from your face, but also from around your hairline as well. All right, so now that that's done, as you can see, the brush head looks very dirty. I just like take it off and rinse and wash it with warm soapy water underneath the tap but first i gotta rinse my face off all right so now that my skin is cleansed i do still want to go in and make sure that all of the makeup is removed which you would be surprised like you would think at this point i'm going in with a pre-cleanser i've gone in and literally scrubbed my face with a cleansing brush you would think that all the makeup is gone but it's not so what i like to do is go in with some of the garnier micellar cleansing water i just take that on a cotton pad and again i'll go over my entire face with this i mean don't get me wrong for the most part it's clean like all the areas like all the surface area where i ran the brush it's clean but you would be surprised like look do you guys see i don't know if you guys can tell but there's like a tinge of color to it which means that not everything is gone so i'll just go in and go over my face and then at this point i will as well like go in and around my hairline which you guys will really see how much makeup can be left behind i hope you can see that on camera but yeah there is makeup there as well so that's why it's really important to make sure that you're getting all of the makeup off from around your hairline down your neck as well because i just feel like by doing that we're like one step closer to preventing breakouts from occurring now i often get a lot of questions about like how do i wash my face with my lash extensions you guys would have seen i kind of just like go around it but i will take like a cotton pad with my cell water on it i kind of just press it around my lash line and you guys will see again there's still makeup there because obviously i wasn't like scrubbing my lash line with the brush and then i'll go on top as well because i do run bronzer through there makeup through there as well so it's just all about taking the time to 
do what I gotta do. And as you can see, still makeup. It is most definitely a process because yeah, I like to be very thorough with this, make sure that I'm getting everything out and it's just really important as well. So that's how I kind of like clean around my lash extensions. I'm pretty sure if I didn't have them, I would just, you know, go in and kind of just like all over my eyes, but because of that, I have to be a little bit more tedious and gentle with it. Now at this point, I do go in and clean my lashes. I just do that with a little tiny brush. Let me show you guys actually. So I have this soft little brush right here specifically for cleaning my lashes. And I'll just take like a tiny little bit of my cleanser, like the smallest amount, dilute it with some water, and then just go in and scrub my lashes with that ever so gently. So I just go in and just massage it right along the lash line. It's so important to clean your lash extensions on the daily. I wasn't intending to do this part, but I realized that it is technically a part of my skincare routine as well. So yeah, just to make sure that nothing is building up and it kind of helps as well with preventing them from falling out because when you have more oil production along your like eyelid and such, that can loosen up the lashes. So. Cleaning them is really important. All right, so at this point, I'm just gonna go in and rinse it off. I kind of do that with the brush as well. I just like rinse the brush and do it, so give me a sec. All right, so at this point, my skin is completely cleansed, free of makeup, and ready to absorb some skincare products. So the first thing that I like to go in with is from The Ordinary. This is the Niacinamide 10%, Zinc 1%. Now this product changed the game for me. Like I kid you not, if you have an oily skin type like me, I would definitely recommend checking this out. Now I will warn you guys, my skin wasn't used to having anything, like any type of serum. I'd never really worked with serums before, but my skin kind of did purge and break out. But I pushed through, I used this for a good amount of time and my skin completely changed. Like I kid you not, I feel like this product has really helped my skin be less oily in that sense. Like I still do produce oils, but it's nothing like before. So yeah, The Ordinary is a niacinamide serum. I can't recommend enough. I've gone through like at least a dozen bottles of this or more. So it definitely is some good stuff. So what I do is I will just take a little drop into my fingers. That's probably a little bit excessive, but I'll just take that, press it into the skin, and then just rub it in. Now, I'm not a professional. If I'm doing something wrong, this is purely just like what works for me. So don't come for me if I'm like doing something wrong. But yeah, this is definitely something that has helped my skin a lot in the past year or so, and I can't recommend it enough. Now I do like to kind of push it up underneath my eyes because I honestly feel like this has also really helped with like turning back the hands of time on my skin. I'm only 30 years old but I feel like my skin was looking a little bit dull and tired there in my late 20s and then I started using this stuff and it was like bam. So that's just something to think about but yeah now that I've got all that in my skin Next up, I like to go in with some eye cream. So the eye cream that I use is from Neutrogena. This is their Rapid Wrinkle Repair Eye Cream. Again, a product that I have used a lot of tubes of. So I'll just take the tiniest amount to my finger. And I do use my ring finger because you already know it's nice and gentle. So I'll just start from the inner corners and then kind of gently pat that to the outer corners and yeah, I, my eyes have really been loving this stuff. Like my skin has really been loving this cream. So I definitely feel like I've seen a difference in using it. And whatever's left like on my fingers, I just like to apply it to other areas where fine lines can occur, like the middle here, the middle of the forehead, and then my like smile lines. And then for my night cream, I'm really simple, nothing crazy with it. Another Neutrogena product. This is their Hydro Boost Night Concentrate. Now, I, yeah, it's a drugstore face cream, drugstore night cream, whatever you want to call it, but my skin loves this stuff. I feel like 
because this is a very hydrating product, my skin doesn't get as oily anymore. So I'm just saying something about having oily skin and applying hydrating products, for me, it really counteracts the whole oiliness. So yeah, I just kind of dip my finger in there once, apply it all over my face, and then I will just go in and rub that in. Mainly like to go in like upwards motions. I feel like I have definitely been more conscious of that now that I'm getting older, is to not like tug on my skin and pull it down. And then I also take it down my neck as well. At this point, that's like my skincare routine done, to be honest. Like that's like my every night skincare routine. But I do something else as well, about like two, three nights a week that I've recently started incorporating into my routine and my skin has been loving me for it and I feel like it's just a very relaxing thing that I like to add into my skincare routine. All right, so as you can see, I have put my robe down for this part because I am going to be going in with some rose hip seed oil. Now, the one that I use is, again, from The Ordinary. This is their 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. So what I like to use this for is for when I want to do some gua sha, which you guys will see. I'm not a professional when it comes to it, but I recently started incorporating it into like my skincare routine about two to three nights a week. And I feel like my skin's really been loving me for it. So I just take like five or so drops to the palm of my hands, rub them together, make sure that's really nice and warmed up. And then I like to just press to the skin. Now it's really important if you are going to be doing this is to make sure that your skin is like nicely lubricated, which is why I am applying an oil. You just want something that's gonna have like a lot of good slip to it. So here is my little rose quartz gua sha. Now I don't know the exact shape or if they have like different names for the shapes. There's like many different shapes that you can get, but this one I really like. So yeah, what I like to do as well Let's just take like a drop or three to the actual tool itself and then just rub it in. I just feel like it's really important to make sure that it's nice and like lubricated and oiled because we don't want any like tugging to occur on the skin. So the way that I do this, the first move is my favorite. <laughs> Let me just say that. So. What I like to do is make sure as well that if you're going to use it, you're using it like flat. Don't go in with it and like dig on the skin. You want to press it flat, like use the flat planes of it, not the edge. So in saying this, I'm no professional, okay? <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. But what I like to do is start on my shoulders and pull it up. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is oh, the best. Like I haven't been to have a massage for ages, but this like satisfies my craving. It feels so good just to massage over my shoulders and like bring it up the side of my neck. I do carry a lot of tension in this area. So yeah, I just like to go through there and then I'll do the other side as well. So in a way it's kind of like skincare, but I'm also like, you know, giving myself a little bit of a massage. What I'm gonna do right now is kind of just go through my whole little routine that I like to do when it comes to this. I don't want to explain every single move because I'm not like a professional. This is just something that I like to do, but I'm gonna kind of B-roll this part. You guys can watch me as I do this. I should probably also mention, <laughs> I'm just thinking, I should probably also mention that this is really great for the promotion of like blood flow circulation and also lymphatic drainage. And it's just really relaxing as well. Like I really like doing this. I feel like, you know, the face isn't necessarily something that we tend to really massage, but you can really feel like the knots and such that our face tends to carry. So yeah, that's why I really like to do this as well.
um, I don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference whether it be the glow or it looks a little bit more lifted because for me I can definitely see it I don't know if you guys can really tell on camera but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my face and I will check in with you guys afterwards alright you guys so this is how my face looks after I've done my little gua sha routine I feel like it just helps me feel really relaxed it helps to relieve a lot of stress and tension that I may be holding in any facial muscles gets the blood flowing is great for lymphatic drainage and it just is a really nice like slow and mindful process I feel like the act of it really helps my mind to slow down so that's why I really like doing it as I said I only do that like two to three times a week not every single evening but that is pretty much it for my skincare routine after this I would just leave the oil on my face let it be and that will be my skincare routine done go to sleep and wake up the next morning my skin is full of life glowing supple smooth and just really looking very rejuvenated so yes that is my skincare routine done i did want to talk about one more thing however if you do suffer from pimples or breakouts acne whatever it may be my number one recommendation would obviously be to have a really good solid skincare routine down but also hydrocolloid stickers now these ones in particular i don't know if this brand is available everywhere but i have spoken about these a lot these are the skin control pimple patches now basically they are little stickers as you can see little circular stickers put those on before you apply any creams moisturizers oils make sure that it has like good adhesion to the skin and i kid you not your pimple will have reduced in size or be completely gone the next day. I don't know what it is about these, but they're just really good at repairing the skin, but also pulling out whatever impurities are within a pore, pulls it out, and it also helps to keep that area free from any other bacteria getting in there. I feel like if you've like popped a pimple, even though we shouldn't be popping pimples, but if you do have a pimple that has broken and you've obviously cleansed it, cleaned it, all of that, put one of these on the next day it will be significantly reduced so it doesn't have to be this brand in particular just look for a hydrocolloid pimple sticker something along those lines but yeah definitely my number one recommendation for anybody who suffers from pimples acne or breakouts so there we have you guys that is my entire nightly skincare routine i hope you guys were able to grab some tips and tricks from my video i hope i was able to be informative and help some of you if you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end please consider subscribing by clicking the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that i post if you guys have any questions for me feel free to leave them down below in the comments i always love chatting to you guys down there and with that being said, thank you for spending part of your day with me watching this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. And I hope you guys are staying safe, looking after yourselves and looking out for each other. With that being said, I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you all in my next video.